Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I'm very, very sick. Um, so if I'm not around a lot this week, you'll know why. But I got requested, uh, I get this quite a bit, to how to draw a face. And of course, there's folk art faces, realistic faces, depends on what you want to do, and how to shade it. Today we're just going to do uh, just drawing it. And uh, let me show you what to do. It's very simple, especially if you're afraid. Don't be afraid. I like to use my mechanical pencils, but you can use whatever, you know, whatever you have and just get a piece of paper. It could be, um, printer paper, mixed media paper, scrapbook paper. It doesn't matter. It can be the back of a piece of scrapbook paper you don't like and get something with a straight edge. They sell circle templates. I don't have mine here to show you, but right now you just need something that's going to be straight and help you do straight lines. So, I think the easiest way to teach you is do an oval. Now this is a big piece of paper and I'm not going to use all this paper, but I'm just going to do an oval like an egg, like an upside down egg. So you could start down here and this might be a little light. Let me see. Here you go. And I'm just going to make it, see, just like an egg. And I go around a couple times because I want this to be thinner down here than on top and don't push too hard just get it going so you have a basic now this could be very too big we don't know yet and i find it easier to fix on top because we had hair so let's start from the bottom now from the bottom i just want to you want to put this in half let's do that so about halfway down i'm going to put this and i'm going to just do a quick light line going across okay and then i'm going to cut this in half i just go down a little bit going down like that and then half of that your line do these have to be absolutely accurate no you can definitely uh you know play around and do what you want if you've been with me for a while you know that i my hands hurt and I go uh, uphill. I'm always drawing this way and that way. I don't know. I just enjoy it. So I just, I do it. Okay. So now we have some lines where to start and all this is, is a stamp. So, you know, you use whatever you have. You also, something that you can do that might be helpful for you is to go down half on here. Um, so take, you know, take whatever you're drawing with and do your best estimate. I mean, if you're really OCD about it, you definitely can uh, use a ruler. Uh, I'm not going to, um, but I'm just going to kind of do it like that. So I have an idea. And what I'm going to do is we're going to start with the lips. Now I'm going to erase all this at the end and we'll adjust. So right here for the lips, I'm going to put two circles on either side of the line that's going down here. And then I'm going to do an oval underneath those. Like that. I'm moving just a little bit. And then for the nose, I'm going to do similar i'm going to go in i'm going to do above the line here on the middle line i'm just going to put a circle like that and then two little circles on the side like that very simple and then for the eyes i'm going to go and you want the general rule is to keep it, it, as big as your eye is here you want a space here in your eye well, well, I drew this line down the middle and obviously it's not completely in the middle. So I'm going to kind of judge it, um, kind of how I want it. Not a big deal, but I'm going to put, I like doing the line in the middle. I'm going to put, I'm going to put my pupil, just a hole, right? Just a circle, not a hole. Good things on my mind. Okay. And then, and if you're using your circle template, it's very helpful. Now you can see they're kind of, this one's a little bigger, that kind of thing. We'll fix that towards the 
uh, next part. But what I'm going to do now is make eyelids. So I'm going to take from the top of this and take it to the line and take it here and take it to the line. And the same thing over here. So we get an idea of what we're dealing with. Now, here I am with here. I know this, uh, this circle is a little smaller. That's why I use a template or even cutting a circle out of a piece of paper. I, it sounds a little uh, weird, but let's say if we do a circle here and you cut it out, okay, you use your scissors. I would do this, let's use a small pair of scissors. I'd cut it right in the middle like that, cut out like a triangle. And then when you open it, you can go around and cut it and then you'll have your own um, stencil. So you have the same size, you know what I mean? And then you'll just cut it on the line. like that and then you'll have a circle and then you could put it here and you clean out those little you know those little fuzzies but you go like this and you'll have a basic circle and then you can go over here I draw faces so many different ways um let's move it over this way just a little bit and you want that line to be in the middle and then just do your circle again okay and it gives you the general you know, you get all of those little cracks and crevices on there, but you get the, you get the general idea, right? And then we'll do the lines here. We'll go up here, put our eye here. Like that. Now do these as, as weird as this may look or what have you do these with the circles with, with all this. So then when you're done, you're getting the idea of what to do. You want to make these your own after you learn how to do them. You don't want to always copy somebody maybe that you see, you know, one of your favorite artists or that kind of thing. After you get, get it down pat, you want to make sure that you kind of put your own thing on it, you know? So that's what we're going to do right there. So now I'm going to go into the lips and I'm going to wear race the uh, middle, the line I drew, all the circles in there. So I'm left with the outline. And what I like to do is take my pencil and follow this on top and take it down here to the line and then pull it out a little bit, just a little, see that right here, we're pulling it and pulling it. And then I'm going to go like this, pull it out, bring it back in a little bit and swing it down here to the bottom. Same thing here and swing it down to the bottom. And that's going to give you the shape for your bottom lip. See what we got? So we have the lips. Now let's do the nose. The nose, you know, everybody has like this ball on their nose kind of thing. I don't always draw it, but for down here, I do noses so differently. I probably draw a face 20 different ways, depending on how I'm feeling in that day. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I need it. I need more instruction or more guidance. And other days I just draw it. It depends on the way my brain's functioning and what medication I'm on. So here, this is kind of going to be the side of your nose and this is going to be the side of your nose and then this is just going to be your nostrils okay and you can leave as much as of the circle that you want on the nose as you want I'm going to take it off but you see how it gives you that kind of nose and now you know you have a basic kind of nose that's it. And you can go in and erase the side there if it's not even and make it 
so it matches more and you have the general idea of a nose now i also do noses where i will do like this like a, a big u and then a line down and a line down like that let's see and then i will put nostrils going this way so that's a way to do it as well it depends on whatever you want to do but for this one we just did the circles and then for the eyes here if you have the eyeballs too big too wide it's like she got scared or surprised so we're going to cut those back a little bit with um eyelids and i'm going to go on the inside of this and just take it over this way and you see it cuts some of that off and i'm going to do that here like that and I can go in and erase those little eyeball lines if I want of course there's a million ways to do this I'm gonna erase the lines in the middle I usually erase everything and I'll show you that what I do but for now we're just gonna kind of do this see just very very basic not a big deal it took me 10 minutes and like I said just do it so you get something that resembles a face to you now what I like to do is erase everything so I'm going to take my eraser this is the fabric Castell. I have a million erasers use whatever you like and I'm going and this is why I tell you not to um, push too hard I mean I want to get that off there and these lines I don't need anymore and I just want a light remembrance of what I did especially for the eyes since I measured them but you don't have to measure them okay all right You can go to your dollar store and get get erasers. I go through a lot of erasers. Okay. So you see, you can still see a, a faint of it. So what I'm going to do, I like to go back with marker. <coughs> Sorry. But you can go back with your pencil again or colored pencil, whatever you have. But I know that this is my lips here. So I'm going to start there. Now, this is too much gap for me for the chin you might want that and that's fine so i'm going to bring my chin up a little bit maybe i'll do it pencil first to show you and then i'll go in okay so i'm going to go in first and i'm going to copy my lips the basics uh, the basic shape of them and what i'm going to do is start i want my chin to be down here So you see how I'm doing, and then I'm going to go this part with my chin. Okay. And that fixes, you know, that it was too, too wide. Okay. Cause we already have the, the features in. So now this pencil stinks. Okay. So now I gotta sharpen it. <laughs> now what we're going to do. Is the nose. So I'm just going to go in again. I'm going to be using a marker, but I'm using the pencil for now. And I'm just going in. And if you look at everybody's nose, they're all different. Like I said, we can do noses a million ways. This is just what we're going to do right now. Not a big deal. Because we'll be doing other faces. I'm going to do, I've been practicing um, doing like eyelashes and more realistic eyes and looks. So I'm definitely going to be starting doing that once I get better. Doing more, because I've really been practicing and I'm really excited. So more realistic faces. So I'm very excited. <laughs> all right anyway so now we're gonna go you know you have that and now we're just gonna go back into the eye trace what you have here now that you can see is way bigger than that because i don't know why my brain doesn't my brain's like oh okay all right so we'll go back in and try to get it a little better and then do your eye that'll be where your eyelashes are and then do your eyelid 
you know, everybody has different eyelids. Some people don't have eyelids. They have the, um, oh, I don't know what they're called. What's it called when you have the, I have to ask Emily. Anyway, some people have more eyelids than others. Not a big deal. It doesn't make you bad or good. And then here's where we're just going to kind of go up. And finish our eye for the most part. And then I like the head going a little closer. So I'm going to go down and alter this a little bit because I like to. Now that might be too thin. So that's why I'm using pencil. Go back in there. And then I'm going right there. Now you'll put your pupil. You could put your pupil come in like that, or you could put your pupil in the middle. Depends on what you want. The lips, I always do like the little, you know, that little thing on our lip. And you play till you get the right shape, if you want it bigger or smaller. And then the eyes, after we do that, we're going to do some, um, eyebrows so depends on what kind of and you can just do a line you don't have to do anything spectacular and just go around till you find the shape that you want there's a million shapes <laughs> that you could have because when we put the hair on it'll change it a little bit too and then let me color this in. Come on, hands. Do like that. We'll do the neck. We'll take it back here. If you want to do a thick neck, I have a thick neck, which I could be a football player. Or you could take it down here and make it a thinner neck. Depends on what you want. And now, before we do anything else, let's think of the hair. This isn't going to, you know, we're not going to have this showing, but maybe I always start out with like, and you could do middle or whatever. I always start from this side and you could see, I just kind of take it over the eyebrow and down here. And then I do the same thing over here and then I make it bigger up here because the back of our head and our hair and just pull it down. Now we'll erase this line, which was our egg, top of our egg, top of our head. And see how it just kind of comes to you? Nothing wrong with that for the start now, just of us as us doing this. And now is where you look at it and you start Maybe you want more hair here or whatever, but you look at it and say, okay, you know what? I want to change the nose because this is perfectly acceptable and fine. Well, why do you want to, you know, how do you want to change the nose? Well, let's do the nose a different way. So I'm going to erase the nose. And I can see where my nose is going to go. You know, if you have problems, take your lips and kind of put them in you know, draw a little line of them in half because that's kind of where you want it to be. And I'm going to do, like I said, the U. Like that. I go up and over and up and over. This is where your nostrils will be. Um, I pushed hard so you could see. And then I'm going to put the sides of the nose. I don't know what they're called. The nose flaps, maybe, perhaps. And I'm just doing commas, like, or not commas. What are they called? Parentheses, right? So I want it to start here. And look. And look how it changes the nose. Now, of course, you can make this smaller, bigger. It doesn't matter. So then go in and erase any of the lines or anything that you might want to, you know, play around with and look, 
not bad. So I have that and the eyes. Well, the eyes are a nice size. It's not too bad. You can make them bigger or smaller. You can add your uh, eyelashes on them. Now, let me tell you, I'm not, this is a whole other video that I'm going to do, but um, I like using, since I've been trying to learn all these different things, I like using my mechanical pencil for the eyelashes and I start like here and I kind of go like this and just kind of and give them a turn because they're, they're, you know, eyelashes can be wild and just give them a little bit, not perfect. And then I go back in and I kind of shorten those ones and, you know, but I kind of hook it and I'll do the same thing over here. I just hook it. Okay, and you can make them and then you can go back and trace your eyes. Same with your eyebrows. And if you want to add, you know, like a bridge of the nose or something like that, you can, you know, it's right here where it ends and just take it up and it goes right to where your eyebrow goes. And look how that changes the face too. So this is, like I said, where you can play and do uh, different kind of things. And <coughs> sorry, <coughs> excuse me. And, uh, you know, kind of tweak it a little bit if you want, but this is perfectly fine. Now I'm going to go in with a black marker. I use permanent. I can't find my Sharpie. I have my big fat Sharpie, but that's going to be too fat. I don't know what the heck I did with my other Sharpie. I tell you. All right. But anyway, go in and start tracing your lines, the lines you want to keep. Please let me know down below if you're watching this long. We'll be 20 minutes in. Um, let me know if the sniffling and the coughing is bothering you. Because if so, then I will. If I do any more videos, I'll do speed throughs, you know, so I don't bother anybody. Because I know some people don't dig that. The coughing and sniffling. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm really excited, like I said, to, to do the real, more realistic faces. I keep promising Kathy Spires, but it's coming as soon as I feel better. Okay. And then if you dig the hair, trace the outline of it too. Sometimes I'll cut the hair off if I go to cut it out, but that's, you know, it's totally up to you. And there is that and all I'm gonna do I'm an eraser I told you I go through erasers I have to get new erasers I'm almost done let me give it a good erase ever since I got RA and all this medication and all my brain just does not work the same and sometimes it's worse than others with the fibro so sometimes I have to do things like this I know some people don't have to erase and you know they don't redo things like I do or whatever but it's just how I I have to do it I really don't have a choice um, or otherwise I won't be able to art and I love to art so you know then you can go back and do whatever you want. And then from here you go and, and paint or color or whatever you want to do. And you have a basis of a face. Nothing wrong with that. Pretty good for the first, you know, for you to do one. And you can add, like I said, different things. And maybe, maybe they have like a thing down here on their chin. You want to add, maybe you want to add the second part of the, you know, the other part of the bridge of the nose, you know, whatever it is. And you just tweak it and add it, or you just do it as you did it. 
not bad, not too hard. There's nothing wrong with erasing if you need to erase. It's not a big deal, you know? So my pen's running out here. Running out of ink. But that's it. You just you just kind of play and do it and you start. So I hope this helped you guys. I have to look up. I know there were a handful of people asking for this demo. And um, I got to find their names. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And again, let me know down below if it's too annoying with me uh, recording like this while I'm sick. And, you know, if you do this, please tag me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and Google and email it to me. All my info is down below. I'm on Snapchat. And uh, I'd love to see what you guys do. And if you have any tips as well, please leave them down below. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.